So, I hit a thousand. When I started this channel almost two years ago, I never expected to hit a thousand subscribers. But that day has finally came, and my work has changed a lot. Just looking by these thumbnails, you can see they were a lot different. My intros changed very slowly, and it took me a while to build a strong audience, but time went on and I kept gaining more and more subscribers, more support, and I started to realize that I'm gonna go somewhere with this, and I didn't know how long it would take me to hit 100, but I hit it, and... I remember that day, it was a nice day, and I kept going forward, and I started to make my way to 200, and this is where I had a somewhat interesting style, it was text sync up, synced up with, you know, a shape, layer, a bunch of shapes in a background, and that was what I thought I was gonna be known as. The, the guy who did those kind of intros, if you remember Retro Block, the Retro Block style, that was what I was looking forward to becoming the next person of, but things started changing and changing, and they started becoming more of what they were and what they are now. The first time I tried to make an intro, like Gigi Brackets, was eight months ago. I created the Pulse MC intro. I was utterly surprised at how interesting and fun it was to create a geeky style intro compared to my other styles. It was just so different. And then it, the change started coming, and around this time, I got my first big client, one of my inspirations, and I'm still in touch with this person to this day. And it's honestly surprising is Poke Digger One, and if you don't know who he is. Uh, he has 75,000 plus subscribers, and uh, that was when my channel started taking off, I think. Um, I, then I got another big client, which I'm going to talk about more of later, which is Shredder. And I started picking things up, and you know, a month after I did the one for Shredder, I got another big client, which is unforgettable. He had 20, you know, almost 20k at the time. Um, and it was it was just going there and I hit 200 I also entered in a pretty popular contest the red designs contest and I actually came in fifth place which was huge for me my channel was starting to pick up the pace and um, I started streaming that was also good I got more interactions with my subscribers I started messing around and I had my new style this key bracket kind of style and it grew my audience. I started getting people calling me Geeky 2.0 and I still don't think I'm anything like Geeky. I feel like that I have a different style from his but it is it's something like that and that's where it started. This big thing. And then summer came and I started doing a lot of new intros and these ones were just better and better and I had all this time and all this you know I had everything that I needed to grow my channel and I hit 500 three months ago three months I doubled my subscribers and that was crazy to me I started making these 3d 2d duels and those were doing really well and I started a top five and that didn't go far. Don't worry. Um, you know, top five's probably not coming back if you like that, but eh, I'm not good at top fives. And I started meeting these people. I met Mojo, I met Lemon Bra, I met Poke, and I met, you know, Huber, and I met all of these people. I met Shark Effects. And then a month ago, probably was the thing that changed everything. I was at maybe 600 or 700 a month ago, 
and uh, I hadn't talked to Poke in a while. Poke, I still had his Twitter DM, I hadn't talked to him, and this is what changed everything. I, I asked him, yo, I know last time I made you an intro, this was like a while ago, six, seven months back. I'm like, the last time I made you an intro, fans didn't like this song, and that was why you stopped using it. I made him another one. I was going to, rather. Uh, but I wanted to ask him first. I wanted to know if he still, you know, was in contact with me. And I asked him, do you want another intro? I'll do whatever song you want. And he said yes. And that, that completely shocked me. I hadn't talked to him in months. And he was so loyal and nice to me. And that's a great thing. Poke was the guy who changed everything. I made his intro, and it completely blew up. Almost 1,600 views, and, you know, almost 150 likes. That's insane. The shout-out really helped me grow. I think I got 70 subs in, like, two days, and it was crazy, and I started growing. And then another person that I met was Talkyo. Talkyo changed everything, too. And I was surprised that there were people, big people, that I watched, that I knew, years ago, two or three years ago. I never expected them to notice me and to actually, like, want something from me, to actually talk, not physically, but, you know, DM me. And that, that is why I'm here today, to thank you guys for 1K. And the reason why I got 1K so fast, um, <clears throat> Shredder, my friend, he gave me a shout out for his new outro, and that completely just blew me up, and that got me to 1K. So I'd just like to thank every single person that I've ever talked to with the, the intros, with everything that they've done to help. I just like to thank all of them. Thank you guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, you know, all of my friends. Everyone from Hale, everyone from Ancient Artistry, Red, Gabe, Aush, Turbine, everyone, man. I just like to thank all of you guys. Um, you know, Zerperior, Mr. Karate227, Zertified, especially the person that I think started this all, Enderfarts, um, another person that helped me get it to this far, Technotch, Mike's MC, and just everyone. Crafter was also very nice, and... All the other people that have noticed me, thank you. That's going to do it for this video. Remember to vote what you guys want for 1k down below. And I'll see you guys all again. Hopefully soon I have a 5 day weekend. So that's going to be really nice for videos. But yeah, I'll see you guys.